I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, Six Pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? I'm Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. There's another paid request, this time for Dan. And it's for a film called The Liars Club. Which might have been a made-for-TV film. It does seem like if you took an after... Like an after-school special. But you added a few little things to make it more adult, of course. Some cursing. A little bit of nudity here and there. It's a film that, I don't know, I was, I don't know if I say I rant on the film, but I wasn't really big on it. It stars Will Wheaton, who was on the Star Trek Next Generation TV show. He was in films like The Curse, Stand By Me. You also have Brian Krause, he was the guy in Stephen King's Sleepwalkers, sort of our main lead villain. Pretty much the gist of it is you got a group of people who it's kind of a fun way they're finding ways to cheat on a test so they have the answers hidden on different ways on their body. They get through, they graduate, they got their whole life ahead of them. Brian Krause has his big scholarship with football. They're having a party to celebrate. During the party, Brian Krause is was one of the friends and you get a bit of a date rape which is really shot because with the music and the way it's going slow motion like she's not enjoying it but the music and the way it's shot almost in slow-mo it, it's shot almost like a typical love scene only the girl's not into it of course and it is a date rape I just I just thought it was weirdly shot the way it was done so afterwards she tells the guy denies it the friends confront Brian Krause he's like why don't you give the why don't you give me the benefit of the doubt you're my friends and even Will Wheaton goes so is she so it's the B2 movie before Me Too was a thing. So one thing leads to another. Another guy threatens the girl, don't you tell the cops. Okay, he's our friend, blah blah blah. You're not going to cops to spread this shit around. It's funny because he hits her, but when he hits her, it's one of those very over-the-top sound effects, like, psh! That's literally the sound effect, like, like, that sound effect doesn't seem to match what happened. That seems like a very, like, almost cartoony, over-the-top sound effect. Even when he's like, you can't fuck with someone's future like that. You can't. I swear he almost sounded like Chris Farley in that one moment. But anyway... Later on, the guy's like, hey, I need you guys to come here. Something's happened. It's nighttime. 
they find the girl dead and you get a little bit of flashback that the two had a struggle. She was going for the knife he had, went back into her, she's dead. And then the whole thing is, we need to hide the body. And Will Wheaton's like, no, we can't do that. Bullshit, you don't do it. Because friends don't screw over friends. Yeah, unless they're dead. And so it's them taking care of the body and the rest of the movie is them... It's the movie going, are they going to keep it a secret? Are they going to keep it a secret? Are they going to tell somebody? Is Dale going to overcome? I just thought it was kind of dull. It's potentially a very intriguing story, perhaps. The concept, you can see this happening in real life. Sally, yes. The actors are okay, but none of the actors really gravitated towards the 10th degree that this type of drama should showcase. Like, maybe if you had more of a accomplished director, maybe if you had a more grade A cast, instead of Will Wheaton, which Will Wheaton I don't hate, but he's okay. Just like usually he's like he's okay in Toy Soldiers. He's okay. Well, he's pretty decent. Stand by me. But you're watching. You're going. He's okay, but I think there's other actors that have brought even more of a stronger. I don't want to say stronger persona, but like something more to it. And that's the thing, like the budget, the, the way it's filmed, it looks average TV fair. And there's, again, there's really nothing that exciting or thrilling or suspenseful about it. And, like they bury the body, and while they're burying the body, one girl is singing Mockingbird to this baby that they brought because Will Wheaton was babysitting. Martin Bird, have you heard? Could I buy you a diamond ring? Which just made me think of Dumb and Dumber, honestly. But I, I thought that was just a weird thing to have the baby out there and then the same Mockingbird as the friends were burying the dead, their dead friend. I'm, I guarantee there's some kind of juxtaposition as to seeing the sweet, I guess sweet, song to this little baby but the fact they're doing something so horrible covering up this crime whatever and then there's pretty much a bunch of pussy footing around will we and should i tell him should i not tell him oh the girlfriend of brian cross finds out that the guy not only cheated on her but that the friend's dead she don't tell someone no don't tell anyone at one point the he calls Will Wheaton calls the cops anonymously, tells where the body's at, but the cops get there, the body's been moved. Then later it gets found, because I guess there was some stream or something that the dumbass jot put. <clears throat> and then even the finale, like Brian Krause is the one who date raped. Granted, it's the other guy that killed her. But like Brian Krause is almost out of the picture in the third act. Instead, it's Will Wheaton and the girl confronting the jock guy. I'm like, you should be confronting both of them. Because one did the date rape and the other didn't murder. But no, they're confronting the jock guy. And Will Wheaton says, this isn't high school where you fuck up and it doesn't matter. You killed someone. So the bigger jock guy punches Will Wheaton... The girl hits the jock guy. And then Will Wins don't go to the cops. But there's Brian Krause there. Beat him to it. I guess if Brian Krause blamed some of it on Will Wheaton. And got a deal. So I'll spoil the ending. Fuck it. What you come to find out is. Like the girl gets arrested. I don't know about the other girl. I don't know about the little guy that was with them. Because it was about. 
five or so friends. There's Will Wheaton, Brian Krause, the, the big jock guy. There's a girl. I think there was another girl who was the... Brian Krause's girlfriend. Look, I... The jock goes to jail. Will Wheaton gets some deal that I guess he doesn't go to prison. But he's going to be away for a while. I don't know if it's like some juvenile detention center. I don't know. Pretty much he's told to sign this paper. And thus he doesn't go to jail. I don't remember where the fuck he goes to though. And then Brian Krause just gets away. He drives. He stops at the gas station some of the other guys worked at. The guy's like, well, I, I got Will Wheaton's paycheck, but yeah, I guess he won't be coming back, huh? Better watch out for cops. I'm guessing the cops told him not to leave the area. Or maybe it's, I don't know, is some kind of parole thing? I don't know. I Apparently, the cops let him go. But then the guy's like, the cops, you know, you better be careful. Like in a smart ass, because he doesn't like the guy. You better be careful. And Brian Krause has some kind of thing, I guess, to... Some radio thing, a scanner, in case cops are around. Because I guess he's going to college and going to, to his football scholarship. You would think they would be fucking called or noticed. That would be put on some kind of record that the college would find out. Uh, yeah, by the way, you did what now? Yeah, I know you made some deal, but there's gonna be some records put in that you made a deal. Yeah, uh, kiss that scholarship goodbye, fella. Apparently not in this universe. Apparently the cops don't tell colleges shit. Apparently he's gonna be fine. If he's got to watch for cops with a scanner, I think the college scholarship is a big fucking goodbye. But apparently this world not, because he drives away and he gets away stop free even though... He's one of the biggest piece of shits. I guess that's supposed to be the irony. And Will Whedon is one of the people that gets. Granted, it's, they're all the blame because they're all covering the crime. But if there's a most innocent one, it would be Will Whedon. And he's the one getting punished. And like the little guy who's with the group, you never find out what happened to him. The other girl, I don't think you ever find out what happened to her either. And then the. The jock goes to jail. Will Whedon goes to where the fuck he went. And the. It's just a really lame... I, I guess that's why they did the ending. Because it's not a typical ending. Yeah, for a fucking reason. Because it's a lame duck fuck of an ending. It just... A whole lot of not much happens. The actors at points are fine. But they're not... Spectacular. Or great. It's rather dull. The made-for-TV budget shows. As in, there's just nothing spec. There's nothing too special. Like, maybe the beginning. There's some alright direction. Where some of the kids are in a circle. And the way they're show it's showing what they're going to use to... Cheat on the test. But then the rest of it is just a basic... Point-and-shoot direction. There's really nothing directorial-wise that... You don't remember after watching the film. Just the Liars Club. I guess if you're a big Will Wheaton, Brian Krause fan. Or you like TV movies. I don't know if this TV movie. It felt like a TV movie. And I assumed it was a TV movie. I thought I read it was a TV movie. And now I don't remember. Because obviously this movie doesn't make me want to remember much of shit. It is very uneventful and... Let's say when you have so many fucking films out there to watch, I just go. I guess if you watch a trailer and it interests you, go ahead. But I would say don't expect much. To me, I would never see this film again. I think it's rather lame and boring. That's really what I thought. I was thought it was rather boring. No, I'm not expecting action pat moves, car, car chases. But if you don't do a drama, you need some really high caliber actors to really showcase it. It's not really the case here. The acting's okay at best, but it's, there's no scenes that are 
magnificent like oh wow you know that's just my opinion but thanks for watching really don't have much else to say about this see you guys later bye bye